in order to talk about this fucking movie, I need to drink. No, I've never seen mm. him drink, so he, he can't even keep it in his mouth. Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome, everybody, to a brand new movie review where we talk about life of the party. This is showing how much of a fan of Melissa McCarthy, McCarthy he is. Oh, God. Okay, true a true confession now. Let's start doing our true uh, confessions. Um, not going to lie, I do not like Melissa McCarthy. Am I alone in this car? Am I alone? <laughs> the only, I mean, I, I like her on the t when she does TV. I liked her in Mike and Molly. Okay. Uh, when it comes to movies, uh, she's like 99, 90, at least 90% percentile miss for me. If she does have a hit, it's got to be a rare damn movie. Let me tell you something. People loved it. I hated Bridesmaids. I you hated loved it. You I were hated. smiling through that. Oh, God. You know you know what I think it was? I think it was because it had her and Kristen. And Kristen Wiig. And he the, loves the her so threat. much. You know, look, is Melissa Carthy as bad as, like, Rebel Wilson? No, I I, I really don't like Rebel Wilson. Wilson. I, don't, I don't I like mean, Rebel I don't... Wilson. I don't dislike the person personally. I just don't like her, the movies that she's acted in. I mean, seriously. Here's here's the thing. It's like, I just don't like a lot of her, Well, whether it's the heat or, you know, um, all, the, all the other that stuff one, she's done. Remember the one where she did the spy movie? And... Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't. I, I, she's not, honestly, I can't believe her as an action movie, because, come on, it's not believable. I just don't believe it. Now, look, here, here's, here's, here's the thing about it, right? We saw the trailers for this movie. We... Hey, before you even texted me tonight, I didn't even think I was going to a movie tonight, so... <laughs> well, that's true. Look, I, 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 I texted this mofo saying, hey, you know, you want to go see a movie tonight? And, you know, you're like, I was just going to sit at home, yeah. do nothing until the next day. Yeah. I was going to drink regardless, so I guess, I guess... Do you think I'm a drinker. I the first drink you've ever had. It's good, though. <laughs> You better hope you don't get pulled over there. <laughs> uh, so, um, I mean, w w where do you want to start with Life of the Party? All right, well, let's give you a little casting. You got Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. You've got Ryan, uh, how do you say her name? Ryan, Maya, Maya Rudolph. Oh, well, Maya Rudolph, yeah. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know that. I know, I know her name's like, I, I don't want to mispronounce her name. It's Adrius. Start The last name starts with A. She was in Emerald City, the TV show before it got canceled. Okay. She was in Specific Rim 2. She played the f main female engineer that was Scott Eastwood's love interest. I've seen her in that and that in the uh, True Detective show. Other than that, I haven't really seen her in anything else. Yeah, she was good in it. Um, um, Jillian Anderson, or not Jillian. Now, now well, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Jillian Anderson was in the I met Jillian Jacobs from Jacob Community. Um, plus, we got in here. We've got. What is that one actress' name from Modern Family? Um, Bonnie oh, something. Oh, uh, um, Summer Somerville or something. Something like that. She she was in a odd uh, uh Julie B Bowen. Yeah. Julie Bowen. Yes. Why am I thinking? I don't know one. what the hell you were thinking. <laughs> oh. I, were you drinking? How <laughs> long? Kind of half out of it. So. Um. We've also got. What? Um, I don't, I think I know any other actors besides those. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, uh, basically, um, at the beginning of the movie, um, I mean, she's... Like a dropkick for her. A dropkick for her. She's taking her kid to her final senior year of college, and that the, the same day... In not fact, even that, like, maybe not even three minutes later, her husband's, like, trying to pull out. It's like, Mom, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, wait. I want to. I want to divorce. I want to divorce. I'm in love with somebody it. else. I love somebody else. Uh, I've been sleeping with like, person. What an asshole! Whoa! It's like, it's like, wow. Um, I mean, he's like a cheapskate too. I mean, yeah. I mean, this dude is like, a, like a real piece of work. And 
the idea is essentially, you know, she's just upset and she's mad and she's just has all these feelings and she says, God, I just wish I would have finished school. Yeah, I, he, this guy has basically just repressed her since she was in college back in her day. Yeah, pretty much. And the idea is that, you know, she decides, you know what, I am going to go back and finish school right where the college that I used to be at, which is the same college that her daughter's well, here, at. Here's the only thing I don't get about that. It's like, what? isn't... I mean, she has yeah, she's doing her last year of college, but wouldn't the, cre or the credentials or the credits, or I don't know, because I never went to college, wouldn't that have expired over time or something? I think the credits would have expired. Let us know, guys, if, if you guys know more than we do. But I think... That they would have expired because yeah, it's like twenty plus years. I'm like, would they even still be in the system after all that time? Uh, exactly. I don't think they'd be in the system anymore. But let's, for for movie logic sake, let's say that she can you, still do it. The, the what do you what do we used to call it? The what? The you know the thing that we used to call it. Oh, it's uh. It's, Oh, that's an acceptable thing, you know, because it's a movie. We can get away. We can with get that. away with it. Come on. And the whole idea is essentially so, you know, she's going back to school and... and daughter's a little freaking out when she finds out what's going on. And not only that, but she's trying to adjust to school nowadays versus mm. when she was back in college. Trust me, it's definitely changed since her it's time. It's changed a shitload. She's, she's buying all the college shirts. She's buying all the little footballs. She's it's buying all the little it's stuff. It's kind of an old to an old movie if you don't know it. It's... Rodney Dangerfield and back to school. Back to school. It has a lot of similar things. The idea that he's getting a divorce. The idea that he wants to go back to school to finish up and and his kid and better so himself. The only difference is, of course, he has he's rich and he has the money. And, and versus she's her, opposite. He's opposite. But there's a lot of similarities here. Yes, back to school is a better film. Let's not lie here. That is a golden gem. A golden gem. So, but there is a lot. To enjoy in this movie, though, crazy I mean, enough, just her try to re re go back into campus life, and I mean, just her, just the beginning where you see where she gets her roommate, and the roommate is creepy as hell. <laughs> like <laughs> this girl is one way step from being like a serial killer. She's like, oh, you like you like digging stuff up. I like burying things. <laughs> I'm like, you creepy. Creepy. Oh, shit. Creepy as fuck. Um, this chick is creepy as, as, as fuck. And also, um, you know, she just, you know, uh, is trying to, you know, go to these parties with them. And she meets this uh, younger guy, younger college guy named Jack. About the, about the same age as her daughter, so. And, and. Uh, she, somehow she pulls it off. And, and decides to show him uh, her Google. <laughs> you mean her haunted house? Her haunted house. Oh God! Well, break. you gotta figure she's been married twenty plus years to that asshole of an ex-husband. And well, she uh, she needed some excitement in her life, but I mean, you have brought up a point before we did the review. What about if, if my mother? Like, if you're, can you imagine if your mother went to college and she actually, you know, she got hooked up with a guy that was your age? I'd I'd be fucking pissed. No, you no, know, I, I know what happened. If you like went went to your mom's apartment and you, the guy comes walking out of her bathroom with just a towel on, you you would do the scene from Stephen King's It after he sees the white light. Your face, your hair would turn completely white. <laughs> <laughs> Why your just, face would be whiter than a ghost. It would go go bad or real or, or real real fast. He'd be like, Seth, honey, what's wrong? He's just my friend, my good friend. Oh God. Yeah. So she has a lot of sexual adventures with that guy, in which you find out that her ex husband's new fiance slash future wife, that's her son. <laughs> Which she knew. Uh, her, her friend, my Rudolph's character, is like, Woo! Yeah, that's my girl! She's yeah. fucking 22 year old! <laughs> He's like, Yeah! I mean, oh, God. I mean, other than that and the school thing, the only other major thing she got right is like, you got the mean girl played by Debbie Ryan, which, by the way, god damn, what is up with all these Disney, 
Disney kids becoming super ass hot. I'm I, I'm sorry. There's just something in the water. Something I mean, in the water. A, there's like a '80s dance scene where she's like wearing almost like like what like barely a like top. I mean, like, her breasts top. are like popping out of her out of her shirt. And I'm like, and she's doing like stripper dance moves. I'm like, holy shit! And this girl was it from Disney. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are they feeding them kids? <laughs> there, there, there must be feeding them like Purina dog chow or something. In her I mean, it's shit. Just, going. Even, even the girls at the sorority that her daughter goes to, they look like they come out of like the America's Top Model condition or you know next next TV show. There's like the one girl's like, oh, I, I don't think I'll have ever find somebody with a serious relationship. The one the one girl I told you from yeah. Emerald City. I'm like. This girl like a friggin' 10. How could she not find anybody? I mean, let me tell you something. If this is how college is now, man, I'm fucking going back. <laughs> okay, you can't I don't right. care how much a semester costs. We're going to find a way to make it I'll, I'll make uh, I'll make it fucking and work. Surprisingly, as yeah. you figure she'd be the odd duck out, you know, McCarthy's character. She's like, everybody likes her no yes. matter what. They love her. She's likable. She compliments everybody. Even if they all have some sort of fault, she still really, you know, and finds even something. Even the them. thing with the main girl, she's like, oh, I'm sorry I did that. Can, can we be friends now? I'm like, I was not expecting to go that way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a very likable character. She plays and Melissa McCarthy does the character well. And I, I mean, like the only other thing I could say was a really kooky character was the Jillian Jacobs character, which Coma Girl. Yeah, Coma that, Girl is like really out there. She's really out there. She's she's very likable. You you tend to you know it's kind of you she's you like, like the goofy the, sarcastic chick and you like the character but you're like something's off about this chick she's a little i don't think she, she fully her brain really came out of that coma completely <laughs> yeah like and there's and there's things in the movie that they are trying to set up but uh, it doesn't really pay they don't off really use it that well they don't really use it that well there's certain moments that don't really use that well and there is some moments not gonna lie there's moments that are really like cringeworthy in 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 the movie there's there a part is. where she's like commenting mccarthy's roommate in the beginning she's like i like your style i'm like are they hinting toward that they're gonna become something or like some weird thing or something and and i gotta tell you there were moments in the theater that we were watching the movie there were a couple people sitting near us and and they were like I mean, and they were really like, had some funny moments, but there were just some stuff there. I think they were just going overboard with. And I'm just like, and you and I looked at each other at one point. And we're like, that that part's not really all that funny. I mean, the like, only things that I thought were funny were like when the big reveal was like, oh, you're my you're my you're my husband's uh, you're my new nemesis who's marrying my ex husband. And it was like, I'm fucking your son. Huh. I was like, like I left my ass off on that. There's, part. there's that's funny, but there's moments like in like when they're doing the whole divorce lawyer thing. I thought that was that was extremely dry humor. That was dry humor. It it fell flat. It didn't work. Um, there's there's other moments the whole, that just the whole confrontation thing during the dinner scene when ah uh, yeah it's just like where they're talking is like oh I. I, you know, I love you guys, but I think this couple's boring as hell. This guy, I mean, they had the couple funny scenes there I thought were at least enjoyable to watch. Yeah, I mean, they're, like I said, it's sort of half really funny and half sort of a little cringeworthy or doesn't work. Mm. But honestly, though, I think that Melissa McCarthy makes it work because there is some really genuine emotional moments in mm. the movie with her and her and the uh, chick that's playing her daughter. I I think there's genuine moments in there. I think she plays it very likable. She's playing it for laughs, but she's not playing it for like I, I for the most part not really stupidity. Mm. I think she's playing it for a genuinely motherly type of role. Yeah. That just happens to be like I'm trying to get used to life in a different way, but it it works. Mm. It really does. I mean, the only other thing I could say was hmm. I think, I think, you know, you get to see some of the, you know, school classes that she's taking, you know, in archaeology and stuff, and there's, like, near the end, they, like, at the midpoint of the semester, I'm like, 
when you if you're gonna do this movie, why don't you just show it from like beginning to like getting near the end, you know, like near the finals, you know? Yeah, they didn't really show that. They went they... to like the halfway point where she's at the midterm level. I'm like, it's kind of a rush, ain't it? Yeah, they kind of. It felt like at the end of the movie they were kind of rushing it a bit. They felt like, okay, well, we we've done most of it. We kind of gotta you know get going because it's like that. And there's some plot holes that they never finished, like the Jillian Jacobs character. Not, you know, she's enrolled in college, but she's not really taking any of it really seriously. You know, she's, I understand she's been in a coma for eight years, but come on. And you're just like, you're, you're just oh, doing man. this class because it's easy and you're still failing. I know, like really? It, it, and her yeah. math is horrible. Oh my God, God, these chicks' math skills are, terror, are terrible. They're terrible. Holy shit. They're the fuck. future accountants of America. No wonder we're in trillions of dollars a day. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, I mean. Uh, again, I, I think there is those genuine great moments that do make you laugh. Mm. There are those other moments that, you know, just kind of fall completely flat. I will say this much. Man, comedies nowadays, man, are just really tough to do. And they really are, man. And What was the last good comedy me and you saw together? Well, the last great comedy I saw, well, Nick and I saw, it was, uh, was Game Night. We really enjoyed Game Night yeah. a lot. Um, like I said, there's a lot of comedies, not, oh, actually, well, Ron, Ron and I really saw a, a great one in Super Troopers, too, which you were. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, you were there with, with us. I mean, it that, was but, good, but it was no original, but. It was no original, but again. Comedies are, like, almost any genre now, just a straight genre, are, a lot of movies now are hit and miss. Yeah, they are hit, hit and miss, and does this one completely hit the mark all the time? No, not really. It doesn't always completely hit the mark. But I think overall, though, surprisingly, I actually really did, did enjoy it, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say this is probably one of the more enjoyable McCarthy films. I it mean, honestly is, and it was it was a fun time in the theater. Um, you know, what are your final thoughts and grade rating on Life of the Party? Well, like you said, there, or like I said, there was a couple, like the, that, and there was the couple plot holes and how they rushed from midterm to like the graduation part. I'm like, yeah, I would have thought at least for the part where she does do the final confrontation with her husband, I was like, I wish she would have told him off or like hit him or something. I know, like some saying, like. I mean, you do get a kind of a little minor thing where she's like, oh, I'm fucking your new wife's son, and I'm like... It still would have been a little bit more po powerful. If or either did. that or do something shocking. It's like, here, I sent a video to you where she's actually banging her son in front of the camera or something. But, uh... No, I mean, they I mean, that and the other... Like, the sorority girls that you get in the film, you get, like, minor stuff from them. You don't really get to know them that well. No, you don't. A lot of them, just, you don't really... And, again, only have, from a couple of them, you get to know beyond that, they're all just, like, pretty faces. That, yeah. that's, that's all. I mean... I mean, pretty much, like I said, the whole movie is like, oh, you got all... You got the main comedy girl, then you just got all these cute actors to back them up. Mm. I mean, even, I thought uh, Rudolph's character was going to have a little bit more of a thing in this movie, but, you know, she was just not even a, barely in this movie at yeah, all. Yeah, she wasn't in it much. Maybe ten minutes at best. Yeah. I mean, this movie, I've seen a lot better comedy going to college movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I would say at best, I mean, the only thing I thought was really cool was, uh, and they do like the '80s thing. That was really cool. I did like that I mean, a me lot. Me and him, we're, we're children of the '80s, so you can't deny that. That's true. I think that's probably the only major high point. Um, overall, I thought this was an okay film. I mean, the acting was okay. The storyline was okay-ish, but a lot of resolution plot holes bring it down a little bit. Yeah. So I'd have to give this movie probably probably a average C. Ever see? Mm -hmm. All right. Um. You know. Look. Um. Damn. Do I not like Melissa McCarthy at times? Uh. Yeah. You yeah, know. I hate Kristen Wiig more. I hate. I. Yeah. I. Chris. If I had to pick between the two, Kristen Wiig is more. But. Um. Honestly, though, I thought she did a really great job with this movie. I liked her in it, and I thought it was a decent movie. Some of the comedy hits. Some of the comedy doesn't. Reminds me a little bit of Back to School. Of course, it can't touch Back to School, but. Mm -hmm. It it still I think is a pretty decent comedy for pe people to watch, and it's I, I think it's worth the hour and forty minute change that that it 
that that offers you. Again, some of the plot holes, as you you said, um, you know, some of the characters you don't really get to know all that much. But overall, it is a fun time in the theater. I would give it a low C plus. No, I'm not too far off. No, it's it's not too far off. And this this review has been very bearable with with the with the alcohol. Did we will drive home? Well, you probably for... barely get a buzz off that. Then again, your talent's probably nothing. Oh well, I'll just take your car. Don't take my fucking car, man. You don't need it. Well, you could always go. go back to college. Yeah, right. Who the fuck's gonna fund me? <laughs> Maybe you'll find okay. somebody half your age. Oh, wait, that would be illegal. Yeah, ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And we will be back next time for another movie review with less alcohol. Damn no, shame. More alcohol. Ooh, I like that. And don't forget, full velocity. Come on, chug that down. <laughs> Damn you. Okay. You would not survive it in college fraternity. No, no shit, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, take care, guys.